The Sun series is an introduction to learning about the Sun. It is meant for educators and curious minds of all ages, but due to the serious subject matter of certain episodes, discretion is strongly advised. This video will briefly describe the series and supplementary resources, along with some prerequisite concepts that will help you or your students be ready to engage this information in a truly understandable way. Episodes will begin as short introductory concepts and become increasingly longer, more encompassing, and slightly more challenging. It is paramount that our understanding of the sun start at a young age, for many reasons. There are literally hundreds of papers that have come out in the last two years, based on our most recently launched satellites, proving that the future of meteorology, climate science, and many areas of physics will include electromagnetic and electrostatic forces driven by the sun. One of the most rare but potentially greatest natural disasters would be caused by the sun. The tree of solar science is branching out and growing in seemingly every direction, and in order to be on the forefront of this science into the future, the roots must take hold now. Videos will be added to the series as needed, and in the summer of 2014, additional materials and resources will be made available for educators and individuals aimed at a classroom setting. Some prerequisite concepts that will help to dive right into the Sun series. First, students need to understand the construction of our solar system, the Sun and the planets, and the fact that we sit in the middle of a galaxy of stars. Then, as soon as students have some basic chemistry, they can begin the Sun series. Basic understanding of atomic elements and some subatomic particles will allow for the easiest transition. It is also necessary for students to understand in some basic way that the Earth has a magnetosphere that protects Earth from harmful space radiation. Once you get past the first four or five episodes, the subject matter becomes such that sensitivities must be considered. The sun doesn't cause havoc very often, but when it does, it dwarfs any natural disaster anyone has seen in our lifetimes. Some of the concepts will require some more knowledge of physics or more intermediate chemistry, and when it comes to the disputed areas of popular sun science, it may be wise to avoid teaching about them until a better resolution is found. Lastly, and this is really a matter of making educators' lives easier, ask if this genuinely fits your curriculum. I hope to inspire a love of the sun like I have known for years. Enjoy.